Okay, here's the 30 gallon. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to show this, but I haven't been showing this tank in a while because it I've had a serious issue with algae. And not the typical algae like you see growing on the glass, but this algae right here. And there's some more right there. As you can see, it looks like that's dying off, and you can see some areas right here that's being killed. I'm basically taking a, it's a, it's like a little syringe that you use to, you know, give a child Tylenol or whatever. Basically, you know, it measures the medicine out in milliliters. So, I've been dosing or using that syringe to spray hydrogen peroxide on on the moss every night so right after the lights go off and the the CO2 pump and everything I go and I unplug my canister filter and I take and dose one milliliter uh, per gallon so I'm dosing 30 milliliters into this tank and I just take and go along wherever that moss is and squirt you know that on there and I mean in some cases this area down here is affected a lot more I mean you can see all the white areas that it's been killing off but up here, and I, I just think it's because it was so much thicker, it's taking a little longer. But it is killing it, and so far I haven't seen it coming back where it's killed it. I've um, been doing this a little bit over a week now, and when I started, this, this whole area down in here was just covered. Um, I mean, it, it was, you know, it was all the way to the top of that plant. I had pretty much tried everything at that moment. I had tried to reduce the lights. I'd actually went a few days without any lights or CO2. I, yeah, I, I reduced them to, you know, a few hours a day. Um, I done just tons of water changes I try to use flourish Excel which is you know taking care of a lot of my algae problems when I've had it I just dose Excel and it you know uh, gets the plants growth I, I haven't even been trimming the plants because I figured if my actual plants in here um, were bigger and using more of the nutrients and everything that was available it would take away from the algae from growing, but that wasn't the case. I mean, you know, it everything's just going crazy in here because I haven't trimmed it. Basically how the H2O, or I can't remember the hydrogen compound or the makeup, you know, it's like H HO2O2, I think, or something like that. Uh, I don't know, but anyways, the hydrogen peroxide. The reason it works is basically just like humans' outer skin, um, plants are made up of cells, uh, and your your larger plants, you know, like we want growing in our tank, they they're able to repair those cells a lot faster, and they're made up of several different kinds. Well, moss or algae. I should say, is made up of that one type that the hydrogen peroxide kills off. I think it's a uh, cellulose cells, and it basically can't repair itself fast enough, so it kills it. So, yeah, uh, when it comes into contact with it, and the peroxide stays on it long enough to, to fizz and kills that cell 
it it basically kills the plant so that that's what I'm seeing but I just wanted to share how I'm fighting the algae in my tank um, even though I didn't want to show off the tank because of how bad it looks I thought it was a good learning experience for other aquarists out there that are having same algae problems um, I think this also this also should work for basically any type of algae that you have. Uh, bearded algae, just uh, the algae that grows right on your tank, uh, glass and everything. Um, I've even known some people, they, uh, they use hydrogen peroxide like uh, for sick fish. Um, they, they just dose the tank water for it. They sh you know shut off the filter so the peroxide stays in the water column a little longer um, but it you know it keeps the the wound clean and hel helps the fish heal um, basically after hydrogen peroxide basically does the fizzing I don't even know what you would call that but it, it basically turns back into oxygen and water so, unless you're just dosing a crazy amount, it should not be harmful to your tanks. And you don't even need to really do water changes afterwards since it just turns back into oxygen and water. So, with that being said, it should be safe, but I wouldn't go, you know, um, much more than one milliliter per gallon of water. Um, but that's what I'm doing so hope that helps leave comment. okay this is a couple days later so I believe I believe it's three days later since the first part of the video was made I've been treating like I said and then I've picked out all of the algae that was dead anything that was left in there and as you can see down here I would say you know 99% of it's gone I still have a little bit here and a little bit there but I hadn't been treating that I was trying to get this side finished and then up here look how much of it has died So it does work um, as of what I've seen right now. It hasn't affected any of the plants, nor has it um, killed any of the fish. And I think I've been using it now maybe a week and a half or so. So give it a try if you're having an algae problem and nothing else is working I really don't like adding chemicals to the tank but I don't think hydrogen peroxide is near that bad so this should be something you can try so next week I will go in and probably actually do my regular maintenance trimming plants and getting control of this jungle so let me know what you guys think, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you all later.